fast yesterday and that ended up costing them the match. So we'll see what happens. Sutter out, back suplex connects here and it's Jude London. Tiger kick from behind and a sliding shot with a forearm. Oh, oh here we go, look out. The velocities, nobody outruns them. Compares to Silva, pull it off. No. So you gotta keep going at this point, Walker. You stop and you've lost. It would be a literal halt in momentum for the Velocities if that were to be the case here tonight. The Silva stays right on the attack here on TJP. Can we talk about the experience difference between, well, either one of the Velocities truly and TJP. TJP going back to the Inoki, the Inoki Dojo. We talked about it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I mean, like, you're talking about a quarter of a century compared to much less than that. But the Velocities have been teaming with one another for eight years. Right. You know, and I think that simpatico nature of being up and down the roads in Australia and around the world uh, hey, certainly give helps give up, give Paris up. and Jude, despite their, well, fight beyond their size, as they've said. That is London, your legal man here at TJO. Oh, yeah. Falls down here. TJ's hurt, hurt. That yeah, really took a lot out of him, that opening onslaught. Whip off the ropes here, swings right through, does TJP, and wow, that's the veteran instinct. Goats London in, and it's Catch Two Two who take that advantage here. Definitely hurt him that opening on sort TJP, but that was great work. And this is where Catch Two Two find themselves in their element as Akira keeping it fast and furious right over the top, takes down Drew the Duke. Now TJ getting that chance to rest in ring after Acura dives on Dude London. On the other. And it's how we started this one off. It could be how we're ending it. So we see that. Which way are they going to go? So we see that Tiger Mask, they need the points here to stay alive. Watch out here, Clark Connors in. And inbound, taken down, Hurricane Rana driving and right in front of us here at the booth. Here he goes, Kevin oh. Tonsuicida taking, no. Fake them out. Uh, faked right us out. out here too. Whoa! Oh. The entire playing field has just been taken out here, Chris. I think the high rollers to our right were nearly taken out just there. We might have lost a sponsor. We might have gained a couple, I don't know. <laughs> Potentially so. Capitan Suicida in on the cover here, and it is only two on Maloney. As here we go, tag made. Tiger Mask wants his hand on, on Drew Maloney once again. <laughs> The way that Tiger Mask and Suicida have Maloney and Connors running right now. Hold on, Suicida up on the shoulders. Taken right down. Oh, okay, Suicida not afraid of the high risk. And a beautiful moonsault connection. <laughs> I love it, Tiger Mask, Mask. on the cover, and it's two. Tiger Mask was like, yeah, you do all the way. <laughs> It's easy to tell Connors and Maloney are still reeling to an effect, whether it be a hangover or whether it be TMDK. Now it's here, Tiger Mask looking to send Drew Strong. Yes. It's back in the Lions' great days. And soiled away. Eventually, DKC made a direct appeal to Katsuri Shibata to say, please teach me your ways. And then DKC and Kevin Knight look out. down, and it's two only. Much like our young Lions, Yasta and Nagai are right now, even sure. contemporaries for so, so long. Yeah, two careers that have very much gone down different paths. Kevin yeah. Knight Jr. Tag Champion cover here, and it is only two once again. The DKC spending a lot more of his efforts on the New Japan Pro Wrestling Academy in Carson, California. Yeah, that's true. I think both of these guys are, are very keen to set their own paths because, you know, I mean, they're, they're really the only members of the LA Dojo that haven't broken bad. You know, I mean, of course, Clark Connors went the way he did into War Dogs. Alice Copeland did as well. Um, Carl Fredericks disappeared. You know, I mean, like, there's an awful lot 
you know, that, that came out of that dojo and, and those students that did choose that War Dogs path. Mention, of course, Gabe Kidd, current strong open weight champion. Facing Kosei Fugston, November 8th in Lowell. A lot of great action from Lowell, Massachusetts. Hey, there's a little bit of news if you're in Lowell. Stay tuned. Somewhere around Monday night, your time. A little announcement about Lowell to make. Get up! Mac, a very underrated grappling game, but very publicized grappling game for Fushida. Yeah, 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 I mean, against, like, <laughs> real master of the form. Fresh show, Yoshima Kanemaru, all at the behest oh, of evil. Oh, we got the stars. It's a, it's a Kinnikaman gimmick that Taguchi has. Good. Oh. All at the behest of evil. Frustration within the house about the reset. Oh, some will call it gimmick infringement for Ryusuke Taguchi, <laughs> hip of torture. There is it, there is it a, a gimmick Taguchi has not infringed. B-trigger. B-trigger, including this one. B-trigger. Hey. Well, some people make their careers off of other people's work. <laughs> As Ryusuke Taguchi well, has drawn the ire of House of Torture multiple times over in the past few years, but especially here tonight. As tagging in the Big D, here's the Dragon Dai. Yeah. Instead of Taguchi, we can call him, instead of Terry Man, we can call him Taguchi Man tonight. That is possible. And we've seen this all throughout the series. Ringing the bell. I'm going to try this one on oh, you, Chris. Oh, no. Oh, well, tag yourself. I'm Dragon Dai. <laughs> He's to beat Seven times. <laughs> this is how to say to myself. I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh, and there you go. Back to the old tricks of the house. Those trick or torture t-shirts while well, we're getting the exact same thing here tonight. Yeah. And it's Zack Sabre Jr. Shingo Takagi. Can we talk a little bit about the stylistic differences for me between these two? Well, I mean, it's it's reasonably pretty to see uh, unless you are a newer viewer, if you are seeing it. Us for the first time, Shingo Takagi, very much all out, straightforward. Will hit you, will go to knock you out, and Zack Sabre Jr. will aim to tap you out. It's, we wanted to boil it down to just a couple of sentences. That's what we're going to see Monday in Osaka. In just the same way, though, you're not going to be able to underestimate Zack Sabre Jr.'s striking game. So many people no, talk about no. him as a technical wizard, no. sure. Yeah, nor can you completely write out Shingo Takagi's abilities as a grappler, as a wrestler. Studied under the great Animal Hamaguchi. And I mean, that is why so evenly matched, why they are one on one this year alone through their two matches in the G1 Climax. Oh, great takedown there. Cover here, and the shoulder brought up. And one more time. Bridged out for Zack Sabre Jr. The importance of neck strength in professional wrestling yeah. is so oh. undervalued across the pond. It's so seen here in Japan. Uh, absolutely critical. Critical. I, I mean, as we saw it there as almost an offensive weapon, but of course as a, a defensive because of the amount of punishment all wrestlers take on their neck. 29 days today for Shingo Takagi as your current never open weight champion. Just past 460 days overall across a near historic five reigns with the fight. Oh, 
Well, Chris, going back to the early days, the unification of Yo and Sho, as much as Yo would like to forget about it, Rocky Romero is so influential to the success that that team had at the time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the master producer that Rocky Romero is taught them everything they need to know about tag team wrestling. I'm not so sure that Yo does want to forget his tag team with Sho. I think it's just that, well, the less we can talk about Sho, the better. Let's sure. face it. No, no, I have to agree. But the way I almost view this matchup in a sense, while Yo stands as his own man and has been proven before in tournaments, none more so than this tournament before, Rocky Romero and Taiji Ishimori stand out as the two true leaders of their respective teams in this match specifically. Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, more than anything, because of Senya. And certainly... Robbie X at the bottom in terms of that seniority, but much like the Velocities, has worked incredibly long and hard to get here. As Robbie sweeps the leg up and over, wow, evasive maneuver. And Rocky, well adept, king of sneaky style. Oh, oh, oh. and down goes. Oh, the X. Well, I think Rocky Romero is only a fan of showmanship when he's on the winning side of it. Well, and they, well, yeah, I mean, they have both been on the same side, the winning sides. In fact, just fairly recently as part of uh, Team Inv Internacional in the yep. Lucha de Naciones and CMLL Grand Prix. So there is that connection. I think Rocky Romero does know a little bit, not going completely. Ooh, there you go. That's one. That's the first one. And don't think Kosei Fujita has forgotten about three years ago, Walker. Hiromu hasn't either. And a receipt that's years in the making here for Kosei Fujita to Hiromu Takahashi. Is going to have to wait for just a few moments. Mm, I think Hiromi clutching at his peck there. A little bit of surprise, a little bit of shock, a little bit of anger, perhaps, or a little bit of, well, acknowledgement. Here we go. That punishment is going to continue. This is exactly what happened. I believe it was in Hiroshima in 2021. Oh, jeez. Bushi, your legal man now, as two points are on the board for both teams. Evenly matched, a chance to separate themselves from the pack, so to speak, with the victory here tonight. And it has to be. Oh, no. It has to be traumatic for poor Bushi to have that moment. Pinning attempt for Bushi, and it is two again. To have that moment relived from years ago, and you think you overcame it, you think you came that stronger, you think you came out better, but here you are banged up, taped up, and trying to keep moving, and you have those two senpai, those two evil senpai from before bullying you all over again. It's like going back to your school, high school reunion, and you meet up with your old bullies, and they're just as bad. Oh. Well, maybe Fuster can fight back against the Bullies this time. He's doing everything that he can against it. There's a lesson to be taught here. Oh, no. cover here for Hiromo, and it is once again two. I, I mean, let's not forget, you know, I think Hiromu is perhaps at his physical